what is up? I bet you're wondering why the heck am I wearing Dory on my head? I don't know. I, I really don't know right now. I'm just bored. Seriously, I'm bored. But how can I be bored when I just had 600 subscribers? That's right, dudes. Hill Balor, Willie Robinson, your boy right here has hit 600 subs. And I feel great. I feel glorious. Yes, that's what I feel like right now. I feel glorious. That's right. One more time. I feel glorious. That's right, dude. I feel glorious right now. <laughs> I bet you're wondering why I'm so happy. As I said, 600 subscribers strong. I hit it yesterday. 600 subscribers. 600 subscribers. Why do I keep stumbling on my words today? Probably because I've been out all day just doing stuff with my friends. But um, this is a milestone I thought I would never reach. And I said that about 500 about five months ago. I said that about 500 subs, and I reached that. So here I am at Bigger Running. What am I going to do for 600 subscribers besides follow the league? Well, I don't know. I haven't figured that out. But I just want to come here and say a big thank you to all of y'all. I haven't figured anything out yet. We'll have to celebrate. I was going to celebrate on this video right now, right here, but I didn't have, have anything to do. So I'm thinking about thinking about something. Maybe it'll come to me in the, re in the weeks to come. But for now, i got to say thank you all so much. The Bauer Club out there, I'd like to thank you all personally. Thank you to the Bauer Club, too sweet. Um, thank you all to the loyal followers of mine, and the loyal subscribers who have stayed with me through thick and thin. So, you never gave up on me, you never turned your back on me, and I'd love to say thank you to all of you guys. Thank you all so much, and it's awesome, man. <laughs> I can't believe it. 600 subs strong. You know what I mean, man? It's, it's incredible. Seriously, I never, ever thought 600 would ever come. Uh, that was five, five months. I hit 500, five months, 500. Now here I am, 600 strong. You know what I mean, man? It's awesome. It's a moment. It's a monumentous occasion. Sunday, here we are. Sunday, September 10th, 2017. Yesterday was September 9th. I hit 2,000. Excuse me. I hit, got it. Wait until we hit 2,000 if we get to 1,000. You know what I mean? Yesterday, we hit 600 subscribers on the road to 700. And... It's been a long journey, a long, hard journey, a rocky journey, but that's okay. We can make it. We made it to 600. Let's see if we can make it to 700. But anyway, out of that, all that nonsense, I'd like to say thank you, all of you guys. I appreciate all of you. On to Follower of the Week, and let's get to... Ah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I don't talk to this person that much, but she's very nice. Um, Paris. At Paris WWE, and who she's also a little subscriber of mine. And um, I don't talk to you that much, Paris, but you seem like a very, very down to earth person. You're very nice, very, very, very just cool in general, man. Seriously, um, you saw that I, you actually gave me an idea about what to do when I once I hit 600. But I'll take that in consideration. I'm serious about that. I'm taking that into consideration. Um, but thank you for being a loyal follower, a good friend. You're very nice to talk to, and Keep being awesome. There you go. Paris, at Paris WWE is follower of the week. Go follow her, at Paris WWE on Twitter and her YouTube channel. There you go, dudes. Paris is follower of the week. Now, on to some more interesting news, which really isn't news today. Um, besides last night was Russell Circus. Um, that, was, that was pretty fun. Russell Circus was alright. I didn't watch the entire show because I went out to get ice cream with my, my friends. Excuse me, my family. Um, but I went out to get some ice cream with them. So I didn't get a chance to watch the entire show, but what I saw, from what I saw, Wrestle Circus, um, EC3, EC3 fought Brian Cage, who I think that guy is, uh, I don't, hear me out guys, I don't mind Brian Cage, there's just something about that guy I don't like, I don't know what it is, but I just don't like Brian Cage, I just, uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about Brian Cage. Just something about that guy just irks me. I mean, he's great talent, great in the ring. Seriously, the guy's awesome in the ring. The guy's athletic as heck. Reminds me of the young Brock Lesnar back in 2002. But, I don't know. I don't know what it is. He faced EC3. EC3, baby. Ethan Carr, the third. Derek Bateman. That's a sin to say. Derek Bateman. You know, I don't care. EC3, man. That's, a, that's my boy. That's my, that's my homie, EC3. Me and EC3, we cool. In EC3, I love EC3. That guy's awesome, seriously. Um, it was 
a decent match, I guess. I don't remember who won, because that's why I had to leave and go get ice cream. And by the time I got back from ice cream, the show ended, so... Oh, well. I don't even know who won any of the matches. I missed Sammy Guevara's match. I missed Sammy Guevara, man. I feel betrayed. I feel bad. But I missed Sammy Guevara's match. And I told him on Twitter, I'm like, uh, I can't wait to watch your match. And all that. He's like, damn right, bro. <laughs> And he's like, oh, man, Sam, Sammy Guevara, bro. I love that guy. That guy is, like, so awesome. So, Sammy, if you're watching this video, I love you, man. You're, you're a beast. I love your channel. I love the content you have on there, bro. You're awesome. Sammy Guevara, I love you, man. You're a beast. Um, but, yeah, I can give a Sam, shout out to Sammy Guevara. Shut up. My channel. <laughs> um, but that was, we had an uh, intergender match. Joey Ryan versus Ken. Who was it? Loyal, Loyal Van, I can't really pronounce her name right, I'm an idiot. Loyal Van, I can call it Royal, it's like Royal. Loyal, Loyal Van Nass, there we go. Um, she faced Joey Ryan and his, uh, you know, his, his, uh, his winker, his ding dong, you know, his, his uh, yeah, yeah, you, you know, I'm not going to go in there, you know, I'm, I'm PG, quote unquote, I'm PG. I can, I can get edgy here if I want to, but I have to keep this stuff here family friendly content sometimes. But anyway, um... Joey Ryan versus Laurel Van Ness. It was it was a okay match. I didn't mean the run there, but um, it was a pretty cool match. Um, there was lots of ding dong jokes in there. He won, you know, you know Joey Ryan's gimmick. You have to grab his penis and all that. You know, you, you know that, that you know. I mean, every everyone wants to touch Joey Ryan's ding dong. I mean, don't, don't lie, don't lie. <laughs> um, but, but for real, Joey Ryan is a beast. I love that guy. Joey Ryan's awesome. Um, uh, she came out, uh, Laurel Van Ness came out like, her, out like her normal little gimmick and all that, just normal. And then she got, uh, she went for like this headbutt into his uh, ding dong. I keep making so many ding dong jokes in this video, I don't care. Um, she did a headbutt into his uh, ding dong and she got hurt, <laughs> which is funny. And he cut, uh, jo Jerry Ryan cut a little freaking promo, which is pretty funny. Uh, he says he doesn't usually hurt people with his, uh, you know, yeah, you know, you know. And she came back down to weird, uh, in this weird attire who she uses in, uh, GFW. Um, this, uh, weird dumped bride gimmick. So, like, she went crazy, I think. I think she went crazy and all that. And the gimmick in GFW. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, um, it was pretty cool. Um, but she got the win. Roll up, one, two, three. Um, Joey Ryan after the match, she said... Wait, that's that's not supposed to feel like or something along that line. I can't remember what he said, but it's freaking hilarious. Um, like always, I Skype with my good buddy Connor B. C. N. Rollins out there. I Skype with some two new people, Mario, who was ooh, Mario, who is freaking awesome, dude. That guy's cool. And um, Justin Nobles, who if you guys know him, you probably know him associated with Christian freaking Christian freaking Miracle, one of my best friends out there. Um, those guys are freaking cool. They're nice to talk to. Um, uh, what else happened? Um, we had a Fatal 4-Way. Very awesome Fatal 4-Way. Spot Fest City is what I called it. Spot Fest City. Flip Gordon won the match. Um, what else happened? Is that about it? I can't remember. I can't remember because I went to get ice cream. I can't believe ice cream ruined my night at Wrestle Circus. Oh, well. See, the ice cream or wrestling. Ice cream or wrestling. What do I do? You know what I mean? What do I do? Ice cream or wrestling. You know what I mean, bro? Um... Uh, but that was it, dudes. Um, I had a blast last night. I always have fun watching Russell Circus. Russell Circus, like Russell Circus, is like my takeover. Russell Circus from, is like my takeover. You know what I mean? Um, it's something I like to do. It's something I like to do when takeover is on. You know what I mean, man? And we got takeover in I think in November. I think that's the last takeover of 2017. Then we got takeover in 2018 after that. Um, but I can't wait, man. Takeover. Freaking Houston, I think it's going to be called. I can't remember. But probably Adam Cole, Bad Bay is going to be challenged for the NXT Championship. I hope it's true. I really hope Adam Cole challenged for the title. But in my opinion, I really want Aleister Black to the title from Drew McIntyre. Because Aleister Black is my boy. I love Aleister Black. That guy's a freaking... That guy's a beast. I love that dude. Black Mass out of nowhere. Seriously. Seriously. That finisher. That finisher's like the RKO. It's out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Wham! Bang! Um, but... That was it. That was last night. Um, what else happened? Uh, of course, about this morning. This is a weird morning. So I went to church this morning. And, you know, like every morning, I blah, blah, blah. Walking to church, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, this dog, this dog, like, shows up outside. Seriously. 
There's this guy in the wheelchair. He comes in our church all the time. He's part of our church. And he comes in. This dog, like, runs inside. Apparently, it's his dog. I don't want to see him. And there's no collar and all that stuff. It's a very friendly dog. It's like a boxer mix. And it was, it was freaking awesome, man. We hung out with that dog for, like, about an hour, I think, which was awesome. Like, we played outside with the dog. It was freaking awesome. My friends came along, and they played with them, too. It was freaking awesome. Just hung out with my friends and my brother and my friends outside. We hung out with the dog. It was, like, so awesome. And the dog tackled my friend, which was freaking freaking hilarious, seriously. He dragged her to the ground and pretty much pinned her. <laughs> so that was funny, seriously. Um, I got footage of it, too, but um, I'll probably show that later. <laughs> but that was pretty fun. Um, got to hang out with the dog this morning. Got to hang out with the dog this morning. How awesome is that? And that's about it for today, dudes. Um, that's about it. Of course, my good friend Paris is follow the week. Paris at Paris WWE. There you got your follow the week. And, of course, you got Raw tomorrow, which should be interesting. I'm, I'm excited for Raw, like always. Raw should be good. Um, what else is happening? That about it? SmackDown Live, of course. Um, we got SmackDown Live. Yay. Vincent Mann's coming back. The boss is coming back. No chance in hell. No chance. We don't get the fans we want. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm still... There's, there's some gripe with Vince I don't like. But anyway, dudes, I can't wait for Friday. I mean, excuse me. Friday, what the heck's wrong? It's not, it's not Friday night, it's Smack Night, it's more it's Smack Night Live, Tuesday night. Get it together, Willie. But anyway, dudes, that was Fall of the Week. That is my little shout out to everyone out there who has helped me through thick and thin, 600 subscribers strong, the biggest two sweep to all of you people. Goodbye. But before I go, I'd like to say a personal thank you to all of you guys. Will help me along this good path, and we will make it to 700 in the near future. Who knows? We can finish off the year with 700. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be a strong, long, hard struggle, but 600's fine. 600's fine. I can sit 600. You know what I mean? Uh, anyway, dudes, that's for all the week. That is the shout out of the day. That is me shouting you all out. Thank you all once again for 600 subscribers strong. I love you all. I appreciate everything you all have done for me. From me to you, I'm thinking about something to do. Think about doing something else for um, to officially celebrate. This is the official celebration here. Um, I'm thinking about doing something very special for y'all. Probably a Q&A. Maybe if y'all want to do a Q&A. I love doing Q&A, seriously. If y'all want to do a Q&A, just ask me down in the comments. or something else you'd love to see me do. Since we have 600 subscribers strong, and that's it from Heel Balor to you. Too sweet that like button, dudes. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're freaking new. Follow this guy on Twitter, Heel Balor 21 Excuse me, Twitter, Heel Bauer, Instagram, Heel Bauer 21, and from the champ that runs the freaking camp. Goodbye, Mwah. and good night. Bang, too sweet. See you all next time. Goodbye.